गाइज माय नेम इज अंकुश कौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रेस्ट एपीआई टेस्टिंग टूल वेरी पॉपुलरली नोन फॉर द नेम पोस्ट मैन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट गाइज सो फार इन द रेस्ट सीरीज आई शोड हाउ टू डिजाइन एंड डेवलप दीज टू सिंपल रेस्ट ए and uh, which tool we used in all earlier tutorials to test these simple rest apis well our very own google chrome browser a standard browser as a testing tool so how a standard browser allows you to test a rest api well it has got an address bar you need to type the rest api which you want to test like this and then how it works when you press enter cuz when you press enter by default a standard browser makes a http get type of request on the rest api which you type in the address bar of it so when i press enter the browser is going to make a http get type of request on that rest api and this is how it has fetched the desired response from the server now how to test this second rest api well this second rest api also demands clients to make a http get type of request on it so as to fetch the desired response from the server so i would need to follow the same procedure to test this second rest api you know as what i followed for testing the first rest api so i would type here the rest api and when i'm going to press enter the browser has uh, made a http get type of request on it to fetch the desired response from the server guys try to understand in the subsequent tutorials i would talk and discuss about how to design and develop more complex rest apis you know kind of rest apis which demands clients to make http put kind of request on them or http post kind of request on them or http delete kind of request on on them or any other http kind of request other than the standard get type of request on them so question is how to test such complex rest apis well we cannot test such complex rest apis using a standard browser tool because a standard browser tool would only allow you to test you know those rest apis which demands clients to only make get type of request on them see when i write here a rest api and when i press enter it's going to make a http get type of request on the rest api which i type here so what about post type of request what about put type of request what about other type of http request other than standard get type of request well for that we need some kind of a sophisticated rest api testing tool in the market there are a lot of uh, such sophisticated rest api testing tools available like uh, soap ui restlit client postman etc but it's uh, very difficult to comment uh, which tool is better over other one because every tool has got some feature in it which distinguish it from you know its counterparts but still i suggest to go ahead with postman maybe because it's so simpler in comparison to others for carrying out with the testing tasks for development of rest apis so let's do one thing let's install postman first in our computer and later we'll learn how to make use of it to test our rest apis so to install it go to google and type here postman official website so this is the official website of postman rest api tool guys postman rest api testing tool 
app is available for almost all important operating operating systems like mac windows linux but if you are using google chrome you know as a browser to browse through internet or web then i suggest you to click on this option because it's going to add google it's going to add postman app as an extension to your existing google chrome browser so let's choose this option here it has taken us to chrome web store and here we are required to click on this add to chrome button so once we click on add app what it's going to do it's going to add postman app to your existing google chrome browser as an extension to it cool it has added postman app as an extension to our existing google chrome browser now let's launch this app to use it to do so i just need to click on this button launch app and it's going to launch postman rest api testing tool for us to use it you may sign up with your existing google account or uh, if you don't want to sign up you can straight go to the app by choosing this option take me straight to the app and here is the postman rest api testing tool which we were waiting for so long because if you look at the postman rest api testing tool you would find that it's more or less similar to that of our standard browser you know except the point that in a standard browser you have only an address bar but here you have a lot of other options available like from this top down you can uh, select what type of http request you want to make on a specific rest api which you are going to type here in the address bar of it get post port or whatever and in addition to that you have a lot more other options available kind of advanced options available so if you want to attach any headers you know along with the request by adding kind of key value pairs with that or you want to add uh, any authorization details with the request or you want to create a pre-request script or you want to you know create kind of test suite so there are a lot of advanced features available in postman please understand that uh, in this tutorial my main aim is to introduce you to postman and not talk about all these advanced kind of features like headers authorization pre-request script test etc so let's do one thing let's keep this tutorial short and crispy so here i'm not going to describe all advanced features what i'm pointing at right now but i would use postman to only test the rest apis which we developed in earlier tutorials only means these two rest apis and in the subsequent tutorials when i'm going to design and develop more complex rest apis that time i'm going to show how to make use of these advanced features of postman to carrying out with the testing tasks for those kind of rest apis so to test this rest api i simply need to paste the rest api here and because this rest api demands clients to make http get type of request on it so i need to choose here get option which happens to be the first choice and then make a request so for that i have to click on this send button as soon as i click on send button it's going to make http get request on this rest api and is going to then contact the server and is going to fetch the desired response cool it has worked as you know what we were expecting guys here if you observe in the response message this is the response message you would find here a lot of other options like in in addition to body you can see cookies headers and you know a lot of options are available here which definitely i'm not going to talk about right now which i'm going to take up in the subsequent tutorials but in this tutorial 
let's uh, concentrate on how to make use of Postman to test these two REST APIs, these two simple REST APIs, okay? Now let's test another REST API. For that, I have to type the REST API over here. And this also demands to make HTTP GET type of request on it. So I will choose GET option from this list which happens to be the first choice and I'm going to click on send button. So it has made HTTP get request on it and has got this desired response from the server. Guys, in this tutorial, my main aim was to just introduce Postman REST API testing tool and um, all its advanced features I'm going to talk about while designing and developing advanced rest apis in the subsequent tutorials all right guys a big thank you for learning rest api concepts using spring mvc framework with me if you have any feedback or any constructive comment please provide them below the video or simply write to me using this email id please hit the like button if you really like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm gonna catch you in the next part of this tutorial